What you doing? Oh, spot you later, then. Hey, sure, spot. Hey, yeah. It's a language spoken across the Hawaiian Islands. A confusing mishmash to those who don't speak it, pidgin has been used for generations here, borrowing from Filipino, Chinese, Korean, and others. But what was once considered Hawaiian slang is now getting some respect after the U.S. Census Bureau included pidgin as a language spoken in the state. I mean, it's good that they're actually recognizing pidgin as something, like, worth going into, you know, so I feel for good to be Hawaiian. You know? The language is even incorporated into classes at the University of Hawaii, where professors teach the linguistics of pidgin. One is a black book. There are steps. And one of the first one was to legitimize pidgin, so be, to, le, to make pidgin a legitimate language in people's minds. And I, you know, we're still working on that. The feds, you know who's that at? Those buggers, they work Washington, a little bit high mock -a mock mostly holidays, always wear suit. Yeah, those buggers would tell that Hawaiian pidgin English is one language. Local comedian Andy Bumatai wasted no time working the pigeon designation into his act. You know, Jan, I never mean for false crack that bugger, but he was giving me stink eye. You know, and then the subtitles say, I was engaged in an altercation due to my socioeconomic background, you know. Um, <laughs> it's the lexicon they share that um, is, is the code that you are also from Hawaii. For many, it's just how they were raised. I mean, it's just how we grew up and, and you know, it's a local way of life. A way of life that honors Hawaii's long tradition of diversity. Brian Skoloff, Associated Press.